Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So I'm going to review Final Fantasy XII as a Japanese language learning resource. So I'll give my opinion on some of the Japanese that they speak over the next few minutes, and I'll talk about how practical I think it is and how understandable it is. So one thing to note is some words do have furigana. You can't really turn it on or off as a setting, and it's only some words. So I don't know if it's either because these words are quite rare, or if it's actually because the speaker is not the most understandable. The language is generally quite advanced, however. There's a lot of really difficult kanji words. So he actually just said uruwashi, which is a word from ancient Japanese, which basically means beautiful. So it's the kind of thing for where it's very specific language because they're trying to tell a story. I actually think that this is probably one of the hardest games you could play if you want to try to understand everything. Pretty much every sentence, there's going to be many lookups. Like for example, even when you're speaking with random NPCs, some of it's pretty understandable, but in comparison to Final Fantasy X, the dialogue that they use is actually considerably harder even. Like in Final Fantasy X, you can speak to random NPCs and kind of understand it with N4-ish, N3-ish ability. But in this game, I think it's more along the lines of N3 to N2. And also, I don't know if you were paying attention to the font here. It could be good experience with getting used to seeing Japanese in different fonts, but it's actually kind of hard to tell what some of the characters are, like Da and De. It can actually get mixed up quite easily. Here's some dialogue that's kind of just going to be mainly between the main characters, but it's still quite difficult actually. I find it significantly more challenging than Final Fantasy X. They do have some simple sentences, like these one-liners are about N4 level. Some of the language here is on the slightly simpler side as well actually. However, some of the new vocabulary that I'm seeing here is extremely game-specific or, or ancient historical words such as empire, which isn't really something we would ever particularly say in modern day life. So I think this would be the kind of game that you can definitely learn from it, but you're going to have a lot of lookups, and I would really not recommend this to be one of the first games that you play for learning Japanese. It's quite advanced, and honestly, at my level, which is between N3 and N4, I only really understand about 10% of it. And 90% of the 10% that I do understand is usually just from talking to NPCs. Or when the cast of main characters is speaking to each other. But I do actually find that the language that they use with each other is quite difficult still. There's a lot of more advanced and specific kanji words. It's a little bit more difficult than Final Fantasy X, for sure. This video is pretty short, but basically to sum up what I've said is the language here is very specific. Some of it is ancient Japanese, and it's extremely challenging and uses a lot of old-fashioned vocabulary. So because of that, it can also be hard to do the lookup, even if you do find the definition. And also just simply because the vocabulary is so advanced and the way of speaking is very unnatural, I don't think this would be a good game to play in the beginning. Of course, if you want to, just do it, but it would probably be better to pick a much easier game to begin with. So for learning Japanese, as a beginner, I would give it like a 4 out of 10. But if you're like N1 already and you're looking for a challenge, and you want to be able to really understand like the very specific vocabulary and you want to get really really good at Japanese then I would play this game but before that point it's just going to be looking up one to two or even three words pretty much every single sentence It's a very challenging game so I hope you found this video interesting and entertaining if there's anything more that you would like to see out of this kind of content or you have any advice please let me know so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.